How long should you stay awake after a concussion? Um, and should you be woken up throughout the night? Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Isig. I'm a naturopathic physician and a concussion specialist. And today we're gonna answer the question that a lot of parents and a lot of players and teammates have, um, brothers, sisters, like, should I be waking up my brother after his concussion? Um, and really the quick and dry answer, like if you need to know right now, and that's why you're looking this up, do not allow the athlete to sleep for the first three hours after their injury. Um, and you may not need to wake them throughout the night depending on their condition. So um, monitoring them throughout the night is really prudent. And the only reason you would really need to wake them every three to four hours, if you saw a change in their overall state, like their overall condition or their breathing kind of changed um, from what you're used to seeing, then you would want to wake them up. Um, so let's break this down a little bit further. So uh, if you're not familiar with me, I'm a concussion specialist. I'm trained by Complete Concussion Management, so CCMI, the Carrick Institute, the American Academy of Neurology, the CDC, all, all that stuff. I keep up with the concussion literature monthly, weekly. Um, so CCMI, their kind of database recommendations are that the athlete or the concussed individual um, is checked on throughout the night and only really woken up if there's concerns of breathing or their overall state. And they also remind uh, providers that, hey, let parents know that your, your athlete's probably going to be pretty fatigued after concussion because that's the normal pathophysiology. So normally after concussion, your brain goes into this energy deficit and you just kind of feel fatigued and heavy and foggy afterwards. Um, earlier than that, in 2004, the National Athletic Trainer Association recommended that you should wake athletes every three to four hours only if they had experienced a loss of consciousness, they had or have prolonged memory loss, and they're still experiencing significant symptoms. So over the three hours, if those things are happening, you're going to want to wake your athlete up throughout the night. In 2006, concussion researchers, doctors John Letty and Barry Willer, um, really just echoed the National Athletic Trainer Association. Um, in saying, hey, you really only need to wake the athlete every three to four hours if um, loss of consciousness, prolonged amnesia, or significant symptoms. Why are there sleep concerns after a concussion? Really, we just ultimately don't want to miss anything life-threatening because the athlete slept through it. We don't want to miss cerebral edema. We don't want to miss intracranial hemorrhage. We don't want to uh, not only sleep through it, but we don't want to Tylenol our way through it. So after a concussion, we're not taking NSAIDs, we're not taking Tylenol, and we're not sleeping for those first three hours because we don't want to sleep through it and we don't want to mask a life-threatening symptom. Um, your doctor on the sideline, your concussion specialist, should be familiar with a couple CT head rules. So basically things to say, hey, these are symptoms or these are signs that suggest this child would need imaging right away or this athlete would need imaging right away. And that's the Canadian CT head rule and the New Orleans criteria. It's not really for you to know as the patient or the parent, but it's just good to know that your doctor should have those things in mind uh, when they're determining if your child's or your athlete's symptoms are in, enough to warrant imaging right there on the spot. And oftentimes we don't need to, so don't worry if there's not an immediate rush for imaging. Um, so you made it through the first night, what do we do next? So really it's crucial to be evaluated within the next 24 to 48 hours after your concussion. Uh, we know that the NCAA and professional organizations, they evaluate on the sideline and the very next day. And the reason is you wanna confirm that diagnosis and you wanna make sure that nothing else more severe is going on um, that was kind of latent or kind of delayed in its presentation. So you wanna make sure that you assess acutely, make sure there's nothing really severe or wrong right away. And then one or two days later, you're making sure that nothing else kind of popped up that didn't show up right away. And you wanna confirm the diagnosis, but you also wanna start care. Um, we know that athletes who start care within the first four or five days of their recovery will recover in about three to four weeks, whereas we know that people who uh, start their care like eight days uh, recover in like 77 days, which is a little over two months. Sleep after concussion, sleep after an acute concussion summary. Uh, one, remember we're not allowing the athlete or concussed individual to sleep for at least three hours after their injury. We're looking to make sure that they're not declining in that period outside of the expected normal fatigue. Uh, two, there are guidelines uh, in which injured patients and concussed people are candidates for head injury um, imaging, and your doctor, your trainer, your concussion specialist should be aware of that. Uh, three, during the night of after the concussion, you do want to monitor, you do want to watch and kind of look periodically and check in on the injured individual, but you do not need to wake them up unless you're concerned about their breathing or their overall status. So in 2004 and 2006, the guidelines recommended every three to four hours, you wake them up if there was a loss of consciousness, prolonged amnesia or significant sustained symptoms. 
And bullet point four is following the first night, you wanna schedule a visit with a concussion literate, uh, concussion doctor or a concussion specialist. Um, and ideally you wanna do that within the first 24 to 48 hours after injury, because it's essential for confirming the diagnosis of concussion, for ruling out something bigger, scarier, or different than concussion. And you wanna begin the recovery process as soon as possible, uh, because then you're gonna be back in the field, work, sport, life within three to four weeks, rather than two to four to five months. Uh, so if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you'd like to learn more about concussion and PCS, go ahead and give my account a follow. Thank you.